here we have the T-bone, as you can see by the T-bone shape. It is the T-bone cape for the uh, beagle bone. So, of course, we have a beagle bone down here, and you have two connectors to connect to the beagle bone on the other side up here. And so, by that, this extends the beagle bone to be a complete CNC or 3D printer motion controller. The heart of the T-bones are the three coordinated axes. So each of these axes can drive one stepper motor with up to two amps and therefore we have these powerful drivers here. And these are controlled with motion controllers by Trinamics so we don't have to deal with sending steps to the stepper motors. This is done by the motion controllers and um, we can just say the stepper motors go to Z position, go to Z position, go to Z position. And for each motor you have the connector for the motor. Of course you can add left and right end stops and as a bonus feature you can uh, connect encoders for the motors so that you can basically drive the motors in a closed loop. Here we have the other axis. This motion controller coordinates two axes and uh, we have two connectors for two motors for two additional axes with the connectors for the end stops. I want to show you some details of the end stop connections because uh, they are pretty nice. You have a configurable end stop which means you can have and pull up resistor on the input pin of the end stop. You can have a pull down resistor on the uh, input pin of the end stop or you can have nothing at all at the input of the end stop so that you can for example use an optical end stop. So you have a VCC connection, you have a ground connection and you have an input so you can nearly connect anything to this end stop just by moving around the solder blob. Um, each end stop has a little convenient LED, it's very very hard to see here, but this LED shows if there is some voltage on the input or not. This is very very handy for debugging the end stop. And in the middle here we have the real time unit which is nothing more or less as an adaption of the Arduino Leonardo. It is basically a complete Arduino Leonardo which is already connected via serial port to the beagle bone. You have a normal programming connector via USB to the Arduino Leonardo and you can of course use it as a normal Arduino. In this case it is our real-time unit which coordinates the motor drivers and provides a buffer for uh, the motion co uh, commands. On this side of the T-bone we have the PWM and input section. So we have two high power PWM outputs which are more than powerful enough to drive your heated bed or to drive your extruder heater. And we have a low power or mid power PWM output which is powerful enough to drive a fan or a string of LEDs or something like that. Um, for each of these PWM outputs we have inputs for analog um, temperature sensors so that you can uh, have PID controllers for all the, these outputs. And we have a one-wire connector if you have a one-wire temperature sensor. Here we have the power section of the T-bone. It takes 12 to 24 volts of input voltage and can directly provide 5 volt for the uh, beagle bone and the Arduino Leonardo so you don't have to supply any additional power to the board. Uh, 